A stall occurs when the angle between the wing and the relative airflow, or angle of attack, exceeds that which will allow smooth enough airflow to produce sufficient lift to maintain controlled flight. While this is an undesired aircraft state, it's not unrecoverable, as long as timely and correct control inputs are made. According to this UK CAA safety bulletin, we can look for these warning signals of an impending stall. Increasingly high nose attitude, reducing control effectiveness, low and decreasing airspeed, onset of buffet, and I don't think they mean a spread of finger food. So I've now reduced the power to idle and I will attempt to maintain the altitude. As the altitude is maintained with insufficient power, we will start to see these early warning signs. An increasingly high nose attitude. Reducing control effectiveness. Low and decreasing airspeed. And now the oral store warning horn and bitching Betty screaming store. It's important to note that all of the precursors we discussed occur long before the aircraft senses an approaching stall and recovery at the earlier signals is by far the safest technique. If Betty is getting involved, you're not having a good day. That being said, what if we do miss all of these warning signs and the aircraft enters a false stall? The CAA safety bulletin defines a stall as uncommanded wing drop, nose drop, inability to maintain level flight, and buffet. You do not need to wait for more than one symptom. If you experience any one of these symptoms, recovery should be initiated immediately. So let's take another look at the store and see what symptoms we're getting. I have the yoke pulled back so far, I have a Cessna logo in my dad bod belly, yet the nose is dropping. If we watch again, we have four elevator back pressure and a descent is being shown on the instruments. Therefore, we can conclude that we are unable to maintain our altitude. However, we've not encountered a wing drop, but as we said before, any one of these symptoms requires a stall recovery. So let's talk about the recovery technique. Move the control column centrally forward. This unstalls the wings. Apply full power. This minimizes height loss. Level the wings. Retract gear and flaps as per POH guidance. And enter a VY climb. We have now recovered the aircraft to a safe flying state. We can fly back to base and stop off at the underwear store on the way home. And remember that aircraft are more at risk of stalling during takeoff and landing when close to the ground. Any stall recovery will require a sacrifice of height to recover. Recognition of the early signs are therefore key to avoiding impact with terrain.